All right, it's me, Carlos, and right now we're gonna review some of these uh, special Cheetos that my brother got for me. It was from like some uh, Asian market, right? I think it might be important, we don't know. And I can't really read what this says. It, uh, hmm. All I can see is that there's a, uh, let's see, there's some onions. I think that's a zucchini and tomatoes. So yeah, it's a vegetable flavor probably. So yeah, by the way, I'm back. I'm back. The last time we did a video was like, uh, hmm, <laughs> uh, oh, this clip. <laughs> so anyway, let's just see where I can go with this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of hungry too, I haven't eaten all day. So I was, uh, I was walking around lightheaded, so it was really, really <laughs> bad. So let's see, let's see this one. Ah. It looks like a lighter color. Let me see if I can focus, 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 yeah, focus, focus. Eh, I can't focus. It's a Motorola, but they're good phones, though. Good phones. I mean, but the problem with these type of Cheetos is that there's not much flavor booming out of them. You know, regular hot Cheetos or cheesy Cheetos, they have booming flavor. I'd say, I mean, they're okay. Would I buy them alone? Not really. If it happened to be there, I'd probably eat it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's okay. I give it a meh. Yeah.